guys um i hope you all okay and uh, happy new year this is going to be my next video and i'm going to do a purple section <coughs> today sorry about that and we are going to make a purple card yeah this should be fine so this is the this is the topper that we're going to use and this topper came in a small pack which I had from the range, I believe. And we are going to use this kind of a paper. And this paper is um, Stamping Up Elegant Eggplant. Okay, so that's the one I was given. Somebody gave it to me, so I, I'm going to use it. This is my second card made with this color. This is my first one that I've made. And you can see the video on my um, YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the notification button so you can see um, when I post a new, completely new card. <clears throat> so let's do it today. So today we are going to make another purple card. And this is a standard 8-2 card. Yeah. And I've already pre-cut the panel. Here you go. So we've got the panel and uh, I've got my own, what's it called? I've got my own card sketches and this card has been made with a card sketch that I've showed on the video and this one is going to be as well. So the difference is that this pot is in a circle already and this one is on its own. So we're going to use this one today on its own. Yeah. And it's going to come over here. So the stamps that I'm going to be using, it's my new one. I've got it, yeah, I've got it this year, last year now, actually. And I haven't decided which, which words we're going to use, but one of these is definitely, uh, you put the sunshine in my day, happiness blossom from within. Oh, I like this one. But this is a new stamp set, so I haven't used the stamp set yet. And I always put a, a red line on the other side, just in case I lose this cover. So let's begin. I've pre-cut the panel, I've pre-cut everything. This one will go on the other side. And now I'm going to follow a sketch that I have in my head. I saw it already uh, in my book so this is my guillotine this is a scrap piece of paper and I'm just going to cut three lines it's going to be a random okay if they look the same then it's only coincidence but literally it is random so now These are random cards. Now this is going to go all the way over here. I'm going to use the grid line over here so that I can place these ones over here. So this is the, <coughs> the card that I've made. You can see on my blog that a long, long time ago I've already made a card very similar. To this one so yeah you can see a card that I've made this one similar but it was in red so today we are going to make this card in purple and I think this is the longest one so I'm going to have the longest one here yeah okay so um, if you want to know how I do it so either you can just don't do anything or you can just mark it sometimes I do like to mark Sometimes I don't. It all depends how big is the card. So this one is standard A2, which means that I would like to organize myself and see how big is the pot. Because the pot is going to go over here. These are going to be the lines. And they need to be fairly straight. Because this is my idea today. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. Okay, so I know it's going to be on the fourth. One, two, three, one, two, three, 
for okie dokie. So now this is how I supposed to want no this one should be here. So this is how I supposed to run through so I should stick it and I think my tape will be big enough to do it. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's do it. Okay, so now this is one from here to here. There you go. Perfect. Now <clears throat> next one I'm not going to do. Okay. Now I'm going to use the grid lines and I am going to put this one at the angle. Okay. So this is one, two, three, one, two, three. And now this is one from here and one from here. So this is going to be here somewhere over here. Don't stick the other side like I did. <laughs> I've already sticked the other side, but don't worry, guys. <clears throat> it's not going to be that bad. And now another one. Okay. Another grid. Okie dokie. Mm hmm. Now it's your choice how far you want to go or how small it's your choice if you want to add anything all i gotta do is now chop the sides on the other side you can have measurements or you don't have to that's all up to you as you can see you can learn which one you would like to have and now, from my previous experience, I've learned that I always like to have one line over here. So just one, so it follows the pattern. And I am going to use the one that it's already have the glue. So it's going to be over here. Just a little small. Think. There you go. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. Okay, so we've got the panel and now all I gotta do is just put this one here. And now I need to decide which one I would like to have because I've never used any of them, but they're all very pretty. However, I don't want to have anything here. I would like to have everything here. I can have a smile because it's going to go, but happiness blossom from moving. So this is the one I am going to use today. So we've got this one and let's see how it stamps. I've never had, I've never had those signature collection stamps. So this is my first time actually using it. And it's not just a stamp, it's the first time ever using the stamps from this company. And I'm going to let you know how it stamps. Mm -hmm. Okay, now all I gotta do is just make sure that it's the right way around. Okay, so this needs to be straight. Ooh, super straight. And this one. Perfect. Ooh, this is not bad at all. This is really not bad at all. The crisp image. Is amazing and it's my first time using this one so I am not complaining this is really pretty my favorite tape again because I would like to do it a 3d I'm going to pop it I love this tape it's it's enough for everything I've been using all this one 
during my uh, holiday cards and it's still going it's still going okay so oh, let me see okay this is going to go over here and this is going to go all the way over here okay before i put this one back i am going to attach this to my panel okay now i need to make sure that this is all okay if you are not happy this is all perfect now let's take this one off let's take this one off and i'm going to think about what i want to do with it okay so this is going to go over here perfect this topper already have a, a glitter i don't know if you can see it so it's got a little bit shimmer but this is very very nice really pretty but it's still missing something this side is pretty dark even with the white panel this side is pretty dark so because this is too dark for me i pull up my two sticker sheets and i'm going to see which one i would like to add onto this panel and i think this silver would be just enough so i can add a tiny one yeah so this would be a perfect addition there you go this would be a perfect addition to the card mm. looks really really nice okay so this is going to only be added to three of those panels and this one mm -hmm. oops oops Look at me being silly. And now this will go all the way over here. Perfect. This one is stopped. Now this card is finished. I actually like this card. This is a really lovely card. It's got a shimmer, it's got a shine, and it's so gorgeous. And it's purple. So have a look, I'm going to have some more cards with this toppers because those toppers came in pack of six. So I already made one card and I think I've used the toppers before. And this is the two cards that I've already made. I hope you enjoyed guys. Please subscribe, see me next time and uh, check my space next. Bye!